Friends, in previous videos, we have seen how to download digital regression model from different sources. So suppose for my area of interest, I have got these three tiles of SRTM 30 meter resolution and I have downloaded these three. So these are these three tiles. Now the next process is before going for digital terrain analysis, you need to mosaic this data then reproject that mosaic data and then you have to clip your area of interest. So these three process is required before going for digital terrain analysis. We can do it in any software, QGIS or ArcGIS or Saga. But the first we will see how to do it in Saga GIS. Go to Saga and then these three data set we can directly drag here ok then you click on the first data then second and load in the same window see these two data are here now load the third also in the same window so now we are having these three data sets now first we have to mosaic it so how to do that you go to geo processing grid grid system and mosaicing here in the grid you have to click here and then all three data set we need one by one also we can add or directly we can click it to get all three data sets in the process now name you can give like mosaic or whatever you want you can change here okay. so leave it to mosaic only now data storage type let it be same as default same as first grid in the list and then resampling method you can change we are having these four methods we need to do near nearest neighbor then overlapping area you can get first last or minimum maximum as you, you see in QGIS or ArcGIS so maximum is okay or you can, can have all any in this case particularly then match not required ok and then other things are just target grid systems values like cell size since it is in GCS system it is it will show in the radian ok and then click ok so see when our data is ready now mosaic we can get it in new window so this window is mosaic window now we have to reproject for that go to geo processing projection and coordinate transformation grid now see first we have to set the grid system that grid system is this one 7200 7200 this one that is for mosaic then source is mosaic ok then third is we have to get the projected coordinate system you see we need WGS 84 UTM 44 for my area so WGS 84 then UTM 44 north here it is ok you see automatically it has been changed now other things are like resampling method we need nearest neighbor then cell size by default it is getting 31 you should get in since SRTM 30 meter is a standard resolution of this data keep it 30 and then click ok so see your tool execution is succeeded now this is your new data this one so this is now in in UTM now we need to click area of our district for that first we, we need to get the shape file first for that district select the district shape file click ok so there here is the district file now you have to see whether the projection system are same or not for this two so first we have to double click on it and then go to you get the data on the same image so click ok so see since your map means your raster data is in utm wgs84 but your layer is in lcc projection so there is a projection mismatch so in that case you can visualize it on the fly but you cannot further processing of this means you want to clip your area you cannot do it with this layer so first we have to reproject this vector layer also so for that you go to geo processing projection and then coordinate transformation shapes so your source is your dist name and then create the target and then you go to the projected coordinate system that is UTM 
WG thirty four UTM forty four North. Okay, and then click OK. So now the second one is your reprojected data. So you can click on this. You go to overlay your projected vector to the projected map. Now means both are in UTM. Now you can go for clipping it. Uh, you go to geo processing, then grid, grid system, and clip this. Here you have to give the grid system that is this one mosaic UTM zone, UTM data, and then your object you have to get that is mosaic, and then OK. So this is the grid system and this is your data. Now give the extent as polygon and which polygon that is the disk two. and then click okay so this is your clip data okay then another tool is geo processing save then save grid tools then grid extent and then clip grid by polygon here again you have to give your data means grid system that grid system is of this mosaic Okay, and then this is the data. And then polygon, you have to give the second one that is projected, and then target extent as polygon, and then click OK. So the third layer is here. Both the tools you can use for clipping your area of interest. Now one more thing is suppose you want that to delete these things, this area, and you need only this one, and there should be one hollow here. For that you can use the same tool, the first tool, that is grid, grid system, and clip grids. Here you have to just check this box, and then click OK. See what has come. See this area has been removed. Means there is no value in this area. So in this video we have learned mosaicing of single band rasters means this dam, then reprojecting them, reprojecting the raster, then reprojecting the vector, and clipping and erasing ra rasters by. Right? area of interest or polygon in coming video we will be seeing how to do get different derivative of from them like slope aspect and other things thank you for watching